it's Jim from jetsandhacks.com. Today we are going to install TensorFlow version 0.11 on a NVIDIA Jetson TX1 development kit. Let's get started. Installing TensorFlow on the Jetson TX1 is a little more complicated than a lot of our software installations have been. I have written some convenience scripts and placed them in the Jetson Hacks account on github.com in the repository named install TensorFlow TX1. <laughs> so let's clone that. We'll grab that address, git clone. We'll, we will switch over to that repository directory. Let's set up our local lib. This sets up slash etc slash ld.so.config so that it understands to look in user local libraries. Let's open up our system monitor. You can see that there are 10 gigabytes of swap memory available. We will need that to compile TensorFlow. We have also cleared out some of the disk space. So let's see how much we have available. 5.7 gigabytes. So that should be enough for us to compile TensorFlow. This is a multi-step process. The first thing that we will do is install the prerequisites, which will install Java, Protobuf, gRPC-Java, and Bazel. So let's do that first. The installation of Protobuf, gRPC, Java, and Bazel takes care of the ARM64 patches that are needed to get those libraries to work. In addition, Protobuf needs to be compiled in two versions. Version 3.1 is used for gRPC and 3.0.0-beta-2 is used for Bazel. Okay. Do you accept the Oracle binary code license terms? Yes. Okay, now we're ready to build TensorFlow itself. Let's do a git clone. The script will go get it for us and patch it. It adds patches for ARM64 support. Let's set up the TensorFlow environment variables. This is the same as running the configure shell file. It asks us one question. 
Carriage return should do. TensorFlow is now configured and we're ready to build. This should take a couple of hours. The next thing that we're going to do is package TensorFlow into a wheel file. A wheel file is a package manager format. Building wheel. Okay, our little wheel file has been built. Our script file copied it into the home directory. There it is, it's a little zippy file. So you can see that it has all of its little codes ready for distribution. Let's install this wheel file. Let's switch over to the home directory. Hey, TensorFlow is installed. Now we're ready to test it out. Let's switch over to the TensorFlow directory. And we'll run our little test here. So this is just one of the examples. Just make sure it works. So there we go. After a quick three or four hours, we have it built and installed and it runs the tests. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.